Hey, y'all, I, Rick Sky here, and several of y'all asked, hey, man, you know, how can I customize multi-view with the uh, ATM Mini Pro? So ATM Mini Pro features something called multi-view, which, which enables you to see on one screen, you know, plug in a, uh, you know, a monitor or a uh, smart TV into your HDMI out on the ATM Mini Pro. And what multi-view enables you to do is see just an all-in-one screen summary of all your cameras, you know, if you've got video game console or whatever, and then also see your uh, program view and your preview as well as audio levels. So can you customize the multi-view layout? Now, you can, and it's. Uh, well, I'll show you what you can do. So in the main, main page of your ATEM software control, and it's kind of hidden down here, but it's not very pronounced. There's this little gear icon in the bottom left. So click that gear icon. And then after you do, go to multi-view tab, and there's a few configuration options in here. Now, the way I've got mine set up, I've got preview on the left and program on the right. You can flip-flop that if you want to. So that's one customization option. The other one is that you can do, uh, let's see, where is the, oh, the audio, audio level. So if you do that, if you do all off, you're not going to see on each of your four HDMI inputs the audio levels. But if you turn it on, then you can see the audio level for each of the four inputs. So that's kind of neat. Again, it's going to take up a little bit of your view because you're going to have that, that audio levels bar. But, you know, that's something that, that you may want to... Uh, you know, again, matter of personal preference, just like flip-flopping your preview and program, you know, left or right. But unfortunately, to answer your question, several of y'all's questions, you can't simply drag and rearrange these. So it's kind of, kind of is what it is as far as layout. You know, one would think that, you know, maybe say camera one's your primary and you really want to see a, uh, you know, a larger uh, view of it and maybe these, other three, maybe you don't want to see them, or or maybe you're only using two HDMI inputs, and maybe these two over here aren't of value, you know, because you're not using those two ports. You know, in that scenario, wouldn't it be nice to have preview, program, camera one, this entire grid, and camera two, that entire grid? Unfortunately, at least with the current firmware version, that doesn't appear to be an option. Because, you know, I'm in the settings. Uh, now, what you can do, you can go in and relabel, as you can see, I've I've relabeled my cameras, camera one, two, three, and four, to be more descriptive. So, you know, camera one, I put A7R4. So when I look at it, okay, I know that's my Sony Alpha camera. Uh, for camera two, I put comp um, when I'm doing a screen share with my computer or I'm using my computer to, you know, to, uh, to include Skype guests based on video. You know, I'll bring them into camera two. Camera three is my, I call it vid share. When I'm running an intro or an outro clip for one of my live shows, I do it through that. That's just an Apple TV 4K. Likewise, camera four, which is chroma, chroma key, green screen, that's uh, all that I do on that. That's a, my second Apple TV 4K, and I just use it to continuously loop a high-quality uh, green screen backdrop. So... You know, that's, uh, it, it would be nice as part of a future firmware enhancement if they would allow us to do this because I'm sure there's a lot of people that aren't like me that use all four of the uh, HDMI inputs on the A10 Mini Pro. And even if you do use all four, you know, maybe you'd want to, well, I guess technically you could rearrange this by unplugging and replugging your HDMI cables in the inputs. You know, you could move... You could move those cables around to effectively move um, the order within which each uh, video input displays. So, but yeah, I mean that's that's a that's a great question y'all had, and you know I just wanted to respond to that with this video. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Uh, ring that bell icon to be notified when I post another video, and check out all of my ATEM Mini Pro videos. I've got a playlist full of them, and a lot more coming soon. And you know any questions you have, just like this one from several of y'all, you know, if it prompts a, if, if you ask a question and I can, 
you know, come up with a with a video response, I'll try to do that. So I really appreciate it. Goes without saying, be sure to subscribe to my channel, ring that bell icon. If you really want to be super cool, feel free to support my channel on Patreon. It's patreon.com forward slash guy, And you can find a link to that within this video's description. I appreciate your viewership. And again, I am an independent YouTube channel. So it's your subscriptions and your support that enables me to continue to grow. Y'all have a good day. Hey y'all, Captain Irix Guy here. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to subscribe. It's youtube.com forward slash Irix Guy. And ring that bell icon when you do to be notified whenever I post another video. Thanks for your viewership and y'all have a good day.